this is not a storage unit. You know, I need to make, <laughs> need to make these sales. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you are new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps. And I resell clothes and shit. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> All right, y'all, so today I have a ship with me video and I absolutely love doing these. So y'all gonna have to love them because you know, I'm gonna sprinkle them here and there every Sunday. So y'all better just, you know, get with the program and support your girl and just watch it anyway. All right, so first, um, these are items that sold from Tuesday afternoon all the way up until today, which is Friday morning. And then it's just a workout top um, by the brand Kalia by Carrie Underwood. Um, I wouldn't necessarily pick this up every time I go thrifting, I'm gonna be honest. I just thought that this was a nice piece, so that's why I took the chance on it. But um, it didn't sell, it didn't sell for much. So I'm unsure if I would pick this up again if I went thrifting. Unless I went to the bins, because if you go to the bins, as y'all already know, the prices are much cheaper. Like, much, much cheaper. And yeah, there's that. So, I don't know. Let me know down below if you pick up Kalia by Carrie Underwood. It's so crazy to me because, so when I go to Dick's Sporting Goods, I notice that her items are priced like Nike and Adidas in the store. And it's it kind of makes sense because her items sell the same way Nike and Adidas does, which is not really good when it comes to the resale platform. All right, so the next one, this one sold on Depop. This is a vintage Christmas sweater. This one actually has mistletoes on it. I'm sure you guys saw this in um, my haul video, um, but it just sold last night. So I was pretty happy about that for a really good price. Um, it definitely was no type of negotiating or anything like that. They just bought it outright. And yeah, you cannot beat those type of sales. For some reason, as of late, I've been getting those on Depop. Like people are just buying it outright. And I'm like so happy about that because as I talk about it so many times, Depop was just kind of like one of those filler apps for me where I just only kept it because, you know, I've had it for so long and I just didn't want to like, you know, let it go. So I've gotten smarter when it comes to my thrifting. I actually try to thrift for Depop in mind versus me just trying to thrift brands to sell on Poshmark. But don't get me wrong, some of these items do sell on Poshmark and Macari too. It's been so many times where I'm like, oh, this is gonna sell on this platform, and then it ends up selling on a different platform, which, to be honest, I personally don't mind. It's so crazy too though, because sometimes some items I wanted to sell on either Mercari or Depop mainly because I'm gonna get more in return because I would save 6% basically because you already know that Depop and Mercari only takes about 13 to 14% of your profit while Poshmark actually takes 20% of it. So sometimes when I have an item that is, you know, priced a little bit higher, I actually want it to sell on a different platform versus Poshmark. but. I'm pretty happy when it comes to getting these sales though. So I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and say, ooh, I, I don't wanna sell it on Poshmark because they take so much of my money. But I would love, you know, if Poshmark went down on their percentage, but I highly doubt that that is gonna happen. So the next thing to sell were these Citizens of Humanity jeans. Now I picked these up at the thrift store a while ago, maybe like, maybe about six weeks ago. And I was taking a chance cause I had never picked them up, but I did hear that they do sell well. Now the problem when I heard they sell well is that I don't think this person said that they sold for what I was thinking in my head. Because for some reason, when I pick up jeans, I want them to sell for about $45. Like that's my goal because I wanna make a profit of at least, you know, $35 after fees and cost of goods and everything included. 
but that doesn't always happen which is so unfortunate I don't have a, a good, good luck with when it comes to jeans because all of my thrift stores like all of them like and I wish I was lying to y'all but all of my thrift stores upcharge on their jeans all of the jeans used to be because I did pay attention over the summer they used to be um, $6.99 but now they have them priced at $8.99 and that's like close to $10 for some damn jeans and I'm just kind of like that's not gonna work for me like <laughs> it's not gonna work for me at all because that's too much and when I look at the price I think that it makes sense if you are a person that is purchasing these for yourself then yes $10 for a pair of jeans that would cost you $30 to $60 brand new, it makes sense. But as a reseller, almost $10 for jeans just doesn't sit right with my spirit. Like, it just does not sit right with my spirit. So this is actually, <laughs> I feel like I'm almost contradicting myself, but I actually paid up for these. And I paid like $9 for these at the thrift store. This particular thrift store is marking up their Athleta. I'm assuming they must have caught on and now they are marking it up like a mad person. So I paid $9 for these and of course I'm going to show you guys in my what sold video how much I sold them for which was it was a good amount. Um, but these were just some Brooklyn ankle pants if I'm not mistaken and I was excited. You know, I was excited to pick them up. I think I'm going to just get to a point where I'm not picking up Athleta leggings, but I'll be picking up more of their staple pieces, which would be, you know, work pants or just like some joggers or anything in that nature, because clearly their leggings just don't do it for me like they used to. And like I told y'all other times that I truly think that they are oversaturated now. Unless it's just like a sought after pair, they're very much so oversaturated. But anywho, these are from one of my flip lots and these are some L.L. Bean pants. Now, when I did my estimates to send to the client, I didn't even go look up comps for this because I'm like, wow, these are vintage. These are like old lady pants. So I know I'm not gonna get that much for them. But ironically, y'all, and I mean, this is a shocker. Both pairs sold on Depop. And if you guys don't know, Depop is a site that is geared toward more so for Generation X and then also I'm sorry. It's actually geared toward Generation Z. Is it Z or X? I'm not sure. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. And then Millennials. Um, so when I listed these, I thought that these would have been more of a eBay or Poshmark sale. But nope. They both sold on Depop. Now, they didn't sell for a lot, but they sold. Um, I did watch another YouTuber's video. Her name is Ariel Scott. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. Um, she was actually talking about LL Bean and these jeans do good, especially the ones with the like the flannel, the flannel in you know the inside. And I was like, wait, when I was watching her video on it, I was like, wait, I actually have a pair of that from one of my flip clients. And um, yeah. They, they do sell. But yeah, I was happy that these sold. I gotta use this big ass bag, y'all, because I don't have a, like a medium size one. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and invest in some, just for this very reason, because I could, you know, makeshift, well, no, I could, uh, you know, put two of these, but I don't think I would still like it. Anywho, let's move on. So these are some Lululemon. Uh, I believe these are called the Groove or Grove um, yoga pant or something in that nature. Saw them in the thrift store, was happy. I've been noticing lately that I've been picking up Lululemon pieces. So I'm, I'm really happy about that because they sell well for me anyways. I think I, I don't like overprice mine. Granted, maybe I'm not picking up like staple pieces, 
but I try to price mine between um, $40 to $50, and then that's where they always sell at $40 to $50. Um, this person definitely sent me a offer, and I went back to my inventory spreadsheet to see how much I paid for them because for some reason some of the lululemon even it even though it's at the same thrift store some of them are marked up and then some of them are priced affordable and this one was a pair that was priced affordable so it was no um pushback on the counter offer that they sent me which was still okay because the the offer was only about a 12 12 percent difference and i think they only did that just to you know see if they can save a little bit because I'm sure they would have bought them at the price that I had it listed because it really wasn't much that they were actually um, saving. Ooh, black pants are a beast to get fully clean with the lint, child. They're even harder to photograph. What? that I found them I've been making sure too that when I go sourcing um, that I actually look at logos outside of the the pants because sometimes it's easier to just spot the logo and then be like oh I already know what this is I don't even have to you know check the sizing and whatnot because half the time the tag is always taken off so that is that on that so these are going to a Poshmark buyer. And this was from my personal thrift trip. Only a few of these items came from um, Flip Clients, which I'm happy about, because as y'all know, Flip has just been, whew. So I think that is happy to just get you know a sprinkle of sales from flip here and there this was a santa cruz shirt now i initially wanted to um hold off and say you know once i lose weight i'm a um i'm gonna fit into it so i'm gonna keep it for myself y'all this is a size small and the way my titties is set up it's gonna be impossible <laughs> for me to fit into a size small unless I lose about 70 pounds. <laughs> and that is not gonna happen. Even when I was like small, small, well at my smallest weight, which was about 135 pounds back in 2015, I still wasn't able to fit small because I've always been a busty gal. So I just, <laughs> I gotta, make sure that I'm comfortable and I love wearing um, t-shirts t-shirts are super comfortable to wear because it gives me a lot of you know space and room I feel like blouses are for the women that are not that busty but anywho we're not talking about my bustiness um, I highly would not pick up I wouldn't pick this up again um, I noticed that the thrift stores, they price t-shirts at a really cheap amount because nobody picks them up. So, my dumb ass did. Won't do it again. Granted, I still made a profit, but it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't what I wanted. But the item also doesn't retail for a lot. So, I don't know what exactly I was trying to expect with that. This is a J. Jill long sleeve plaid dress it's like a tunic dress um i was actually surprised that this sold on depop i thought this was gonna for sure sell on poshmark but i noticed that it did not get any attention on poshmark which threw me off i know that i was talking about j jill being one of my um my brands that i love to sell but the pieces that I've been picking up lately haven't been getting any attention. So I'm kind of going to be more cautious when picking them up because this is not a storage unit. You know, I need to make, <laughs> need to make these sales. And I don't like when I purchase items and they actually don't get any attention. 
I really don't care. As long as I get one like, at least I know like, okay, somebody out there really fucks with this item. You know, I'm just not picking it up just to take it off the Goodwill's hands. And that's, <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do out here. So this sold, this sold on Depop and I was pretty happy about that. I think we have to also understand too, like Depop is not only for, you know, millennials and the younger generation, but these kids and not, not necessarily myself, cause I don't really wear vintage items, but these kids love to wear rare items. And that is more so what they are looking for. And some of them are looking for just, you know, casual, casual items. All right, so the next thing to sell was this Zara women's green blouse. Now, I thought that I was gonna have a hard time selling this because it's it's kind of ugly. Um, to me, like I was literally just telling y'all, I don't wear blouses, but somebody thought it was cute and got it. This is actually from a flip client. Um, I actually don't pick up blouses. If y'all ever noticed, I do not pick up blouses um, to source at all because I don't know what the girls like. And the blouses that I used to pick up, um, they did sell. I have them in a trash bag that is gonna go to either the Goodwill or I'm gonna go through it and donate it to Play-Dohs so then I can make at least you know, a dollar or two from them. But anywho, uh, this is just a blouse. I thought that this was gonna be pretty good for like a Christmas dinner, a holiday party or something of that nature, especially with how it looks. Like it's very, you know, professional yet sleek. So somebody purchased this like within a day or two of me listing it. And I was pretty happy about that because it's from a new flip client. So it was nice to get her, well get one of her items out there quickly. All right, so this one, <laughs> so I went, if you guys watch my vlogs, I went to, um, the Plano area, if you're from Texas, you know where that's at. But it's, it was like a good hour away from where I actually live. And since I was out there with my sister, I thought, you know, I might as well go thrifting. And I thrifted these um, Lululemon man pants. Now this is the first time I've ever picked up anything for, you know, the men when it comes to Lululemon. And I was so desperate to pick these up because they are pretty damaged. Um, when you guys see my haul video, you'll see that they are severely damaged. No, I shouldn't say severely, um, but they they got wear to them. And I listed them across all platforms. And um, you know how on Macari, Macari gives you the option to showcase what is the condition of the item. And I put that these were fair. Now I normally don't put fair on any of my items. I always put like new, you know, and Depop also gives you that option, which I still don't understand why Poshmark doesn't. Because that would cut down on a lot of people sending a, a comment saying, what's the condition of this item? Granted, I probably could say it in my description, but why don't they just have that option already available? But anywho, these actually sold within 15 minutes of me listing them. So I was like, wow, somebody must be looking for these. And they were in a good size too. They were in a size large. So I think that that probably was because I did go and check comps um, right before I purchased it. And I tried to check my comps across all platforms versus me just checking the comps on Poshmark and eBay. I checked on Macari as well. And I checked the sold and I also like to check the listed ones just to kind of get an estimate of what mine would be listed for and they weren't that bad so the price that I listed these for was a very reasonable price so I hope this person knows that they weren't getting like some brand new you know pants for a really cheap price 
the price was cheap because the item was heavily flawed. So um, these are just some Zaya Active leggings. Now I picked up a pair that was like speckled color, but it was in an extra, extra small like months ago. And they got a lot of attention, but nobody purchased them. Now I do think that I had them priced really high. And since they were an extra, extra small, you know, that has to really sit there and wait for the right buyer to get there. And um, I ended up selling them on Flip to a pro seller that wanted to buy it out. But anyways, um, that happened, but these sold for a really good amount. So make sure you guys look out for my what sold video because y'all are gonna be surprised because I definitely was surprised. I, I priced these really high because I knew that I was gonna have to lower it and lower it, but I do believe that if you pick up Zaya leggings, you need to make sure you list it on Poshmark and Mercari because Mercari was the site where I just knew that it was gonna sell on because it just was, it was getting the most attention over there. But yeah, Zaya Active is a great brand to pick up. Did not know that it was an MLM brand. Did y'all know? Let me know down below because I did not know. I know I, I briefly talked about that, um, but it was a shocker to me because um, I believe her name is Courtney. Is it Courtney? I think it's Courtney. Um, she's at Common Tags. It's her YouTube channel. But she talked about she talked about Zaya being a um, MLM brand or MLM um, company or something like that. But yeah, anyways, uh, these are some Spanx velvet leggings. Now, I know that I received some comments on one of my, the thrift haul video that I had with this one, and they were saying that these are a pretty fast sale. So I was so excited. I think they only sat for about a week before they actually sold. So I was happy about that. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they sent me an offer and I accepted it because it was a reasonable offer. I feel like I definitely could have held out and got more, but you know, I was like, it's it's a reasonable offer. Like not not everything needs to be, you know, such a high amount of return. Don't get me wrong, I would love it to be, but it's not, you know, necessary on every item. We all know as resellers what is worth holding out on. Y'all, my camera just completely stopped. But anyways, um, I was just talking about this Zara skirt. Um, and this is a Flip Clients skirt and it's sold. I realized that I will need to start picking up Zara when I go thrifting and sourcing. I'd probably pick it up at the bands because I noticed that the Zara pieces all sold for $25 and under. And um, as y'all may know, I like to only pick up items that I'm going to make $30 and over on. But if I would have known that, you know, Zara sells as fast as it does, I might just need to start, you know, because I love quick flips. I'm sure we all as resellers love quick flips because not only do you make your money back so fast, but it gives you an idea of what you need to continue to pick up while outsourcing. So, with that being said, Zara is for sure gonna be something that I pick up when I go thrifting. All right, now for our last item. This one sold on Mercari. I was actually surprised because these were getting a lot of attention on Poshmark as well. Um, if you know, you know, these are definitely some, I don't want to say the wrong words, but these are definitely for a mature woman. And these are just some Dr. Scholl's um, shoes. But we all know Dr. Scholl's is a really good um, one to pick up. Now this is where I have an issue because I actually don't have a box for these shoes. All right. That is it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know how well your sales have been going for the first week of November because mine have been really fucking good. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. I'm out.